My name is Carrie, and I'm an American Legion Auxiliary member, and this is my story. A relatively new auxiliary member, Carrie quickly found a home at Unit 62 in Peoria, Arizona. My husband Stephen was an Iraq War veteran, and he joined the American Legion a few years ago. Subsequently, I joined the auxiliary, and I work in food service, so I was happy to volunteer in the kitchen when needed. Carrie received a phone call from Stephen, who was working in the oil fields of North Dakota. Stephen called me at four in the morning, and he was upset that he was sick, and he went into the hospital and they ran some tests, and they did a scan. The scan showed that he had a large tumor on his kidney. I flew up there that same day, got there that evening, and the doctors told us that he had stage four kidney cancer that had already spread. Unfortunately, Stephen's cancer was extremely aggressive. Stephen was offered uh, very good medical care through the VA and he was outsourced a few times. Um, he was offered every medication and treatment option available for his type of cancer. Uh, unfortunately, uh, with the aggressive nature of his cancer, nothing worked and we realized that we needed to be making some final plans, decisions real, real quick. Two months before Stephen passed away, Carrie received more devastating news. I was admitted to the hospital with some abdominal cramping and was told that I had stage three colon cancer. Carrie and Stephen's two children, Alex and Kimberly, were 16 and 23 at the time. Uh, so, it was really shocking to find out when my father was diagnosed. I didn't really expect anything like that. But uh, when my mom was also diagnosed with cancer too, I just, I couldn't believe it at all. Like, none of this really processed through my mind. It was just really devastating. You never think your family's going to be one that's affected by cancer, but when you find out it's your dad, you can't help but be shocked and sad and everything hits you all at once and you can't imagine things getting any worse. And then you find out it's not just your dad, it's your mom as well. I remember the first day of chemo that I had because that same morning I put my husband in hospice and that was the day that I went numb. On September 29th, 2015, Stephen lost his battle with cancer. Carrie's struggles were only just beginning. I began my chemotherapy, it was every other Tuesday for six months. Um, my American Legion family really stepped in to help me. Everything from bringing me and my family food to eat, uh, helping to clean my house, driving me to and from a couple of chemo appointments, um, even getting my hair done. Um, my American Legion family really stepped in. This is when it, it all started. Our unit for 28 years has made donations to the AAF Fund. This year, we were devastated when one of our own truly needed it. When the unit realized the situation that Carrie was in, we immediately thought that the National AEF program would be able to assist her. We were amazed at how fast the money was able to come through because she needed it desperately. On top of the strain of losing the love of her life and father of her children, Carrie's health struggles were just beginning. Carrie's monthly income decreased significantly, and because the chemotherapy lowered her immune system, she was ordered to limit her exposure with the public. That kept her from working to support her family. In addition to all the great help that I got from my local unit, the AEF financial help really couldn't have come at a better time. I had uh, two months left before I could return to work and that money from the AEF came in and helped me bridge my house payment and electricity payment until I was able to return to work. I don't know what I would have done without that help. After remarkable sorrow and hardship, Carrie has developed a new look at life and living. I am back to work. I am back to working out at the gym and I am back to actively volunteering at my unit, and I hope to chair a program, hopefully even the AEF. Whether you are going through an illness or you are healthy, positivity is contagious. 
There's only three words I can think of to describe how my mother made it through chemo. I live my life every day with love, light, and laughter, and I hope that everyone around me can see it. I'm really proud of my mom because of what she's done and what she's gone through. I can tell that um, this has like, changed her attitude to look at things like a better way, and it makes me want to look at things better ways too. And Alex is honoring his father's memory by joining the military. I enlisted into the United States Coast Guard and um, I leave off later in the summer for boot camp. And part of the reason why I wanted to go into the Coast Guard is because my dad was in the military too, so I kind of want to just keep it going through my generation. Thanks to the Auxiliary Emergency Fund, Carrie and many other members have received the help they needed to get them through difficult times. Please be generous with your fundraising efforts and personal donations to this worthy program.